For those of you who missed this week's episode of the Shadok Spark Chronicles, here's what went down. We left our party inside the mausoleum where they entered a chamber with some ash jars sitting on some pedestals. The names on the jars were Awful Radabon, Fiona Desdid, and Gillian Shadowspark. After some discussion and searching Gillian's ashes to see if any secrets lay within, the group decided to move on. Going further in, the group finds a makeshift lab. A man lies face down on the table in the middle of the room, which Bishop recognizes as a missing person from Briarfork. Oz finds some books on plagues, plagues and diseases strewn about on another table, and Marjolin finds a map of the Isles with pins in the following locations. Briarfork, Canner's Keep, Governor's Den, and Arborea. Quentin finds a ledger with proof of kidnappings from the town of Briarfork to be experimented on by Caldero Stouts and that the plague has been engineered. There is a note that the marked locations are where those that were administered the cure administrator, administered the cure uh, were sent. Caldera is working for someone else and they are moving on to phase two of their evil scheme. Bishop, Quentin, and Marslin take the ledger as evidence and leave everything else as is. The group continues further into the tombs and finds a very exotic coffin that belongs to one Ethan Shadowspark. The group tries to open up the coffin but can't figure out how it opens. They do discover that the unearthed passage that Restus told them about and head down that path. They find another room with two pools at either end, a pillar that stands in the middle of the room with a purple glowing orb, and a mace inside that orb. Three more missing Briarfork villagers lay dead on the ground. Bishop checks their wounds and comes to the conclusion that they either die trying to reach the mace or they are forced to try and, and then that were killed in process. Oz and Mar- Marslin check the two pools and find that they are filled with acid. More bones litter the bottom of the pools. Marzen finds a lever on the wall and Oz decides to pull it. A rumbling surprises the group and it echoes throughout the mausoleum. Oz, Jade, and Marzen head back out to the main hall and notice that a false wall has opened. Gwenton stares at the orb and decides to reach out for the orb. Bishop warns, warns him of the danger while Gwenton pushes through. He is attacked by necrotic energies. Bishop heals his hand and tells him that the keys to the pedestal are around here somewhere but the, and, and they need to keep looking. Marzlin backtracks and finds the two of them and informs them that a new path has opened up. Bishop and Gwenton head out to, to, to see the others. Marzlin stays back and uses his magic to push the mace out of the orb. He rejoins the group and hands the weapon to Gwenton. The group walk through the new passage and Jade leads them looking for traps along the way. He spots a hidden pressure plate along the main floor and directs them around it. As he rounds a corner, he finds another plate. Jade then tries to disarm that pressure plate and the process sets off the mechanism. The group then finds themselves surrounded by three gelatinous cubes closing in on them. Please join us every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time as we continue with the adventures of the Shadow Spark Chronicles. And as always, we will see you in the dungeon.